Welcome to Maker Faire. We are here at the Maker, Mini Maker Faire in Seattle at the EMP Museum downtown, right next to the Space Needle. And uh, we have a little Cypress booth here that you know, shows some of the tools, some of the demos, some of the technologies that uh, our makers, um, our maker friends can actually use to do some of the awesome demos that we have here at the show. We have a table that has everything from liquid level sensing, inductive and capacitive sensors, a bunch of PSOC, flying things, rolling things. So uh, let's take a little walk and I'll show you what we have here. The first one that we have here at the station is our liquid level sensing kit. This is a shield that we use in our PSOC 4 Pioneer boards that basically helps us through some capacitive sensors attached to the bottle to detect the level of the liquid. So right now we have about 40% of the liquid set. If I actually cheat a little bit and tilt it, we can see the liquid level uh, percentage increase. So this is a great, you know, quick addition and quick solution to get started with contactless type of liquid level solution. The second one we have here at the station is our PSOC analog cop processor board. This is an awesome little kit that uh, has not only the analog cop processor, which is basically a PSOC 4, but the really exciting thing about it is it has all kinds of analog front end parts, which enables us to take the readings from all different kinds of analog sensors and do the processing for you. That's why we call it an analog cop processor. In this case, this is our uh, Pioneer uh, Arduino compatible board, and basically we're featuring a bunch of uh, sensors with it. We have a motion detector, we have a thermistor, which helps us with uh, ambient temperature. We have a humidity sensor over here, and we also have an inductive sensor right here. Now, if I go to the user interface, you can actually see some of the readings that are being taken uh, live. We have the temperature as well. And we have a little bit of the analog front end that we're using. Now, we've talked plenty in our videos about capsins and how capacitive sensing can help. In this case, this is a completely different type of sensing capability. This is inductive, which means if I place my finger on top of it, I won't necessarily get it triggered. Let me go back to the main screen. I won't necessarily get it triggered, but if I use any kind of metal, then I can trigger it. And there it is. So this helps great for all different kinds of applications, not necessarily, not necessarily the capacitive type where you want something uh, conductive or something that has a capacitive field uh, being uh, detected. This also helps, let's say that you want to do uh, sensors for motor control applications, you want to detect cars, you want to detect uh, the presence of any other kind of metal. That's what this type of, uh, of uh, sensor works. And this is something that new. Not only this, but you can also do all the processing and all the, the analog processing inside the PSOC and then create that into a digital component. All right, the final one that we have on this table is our Cypress Quadcopter. This is a cool little project that we did internally. This is basically a PSOC 5, a 5LP. It has uh, the Bluetooth, the ECBLE uh, PSOC module right here that we can see there. We have a serial FRAM, a serial NOR flash, and we have a bug DC DC converter, an MB39X. So all of this basically creates a little uh, micro drone, great for indoor, great for fun. It's a single contained board that does all the motor control, all the Bluetooth communication, and basically all you need to get started with a cool little uh, do-it-yourself project. All right, so we're gonna be showing some of the other demos, uh, but right now we're getting ready to get started, so we'll be back, thanks.